comes to our rigs, cooling is one of our top priorities. Hot PC equals bad performance, or worse, busted components. But with cooling, it's all about thermal performance and silent operation. And Deepcool did not disappoint. We're here at Hardware Sugar, and today we're taking a look at Deepcool's newest and coolest air cooler, the AK620. And you know, sino pa yung cool? Yung ating sponsor, cdkeyoffers.com. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finish. May legit working cdk ka na para sa windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com So, disclaimer lang, we did receive this air cooler for free for review by Deepcool. And, ayun nga, lagi naman kami honest dito sa Harvard Sugar. We're not obligated to say only the good things about it. And of course, if you know me and if you've been hearing what I've been saying dun sa PM and kung saan-saan pa, I really don't like air coolers. So, hindi namin issue sugar coat talaga to. We're going to run it through the gauntlet of tests. And sasabihin ko talaga yung magiging results namin. So, here we go. For specs, the AK620 is a mid-profile air cooler with a sandwich config for two fans that are included. It boasts six heat pipes delivering cooling for up to 260 watts of power. The fans are 500 to 1850 RPM PWM fans rated at negative 28 dBA at full load, so even at its max capacity, it's still quiet relatively. Aesthetically, it's unique. The side of the fins have a clever almost checkered design na very unique na never ko pang nakita while being topped by plastic caps bearing the new Deep Cool logo na sobrang cool. Thank you, Deep Cool. <laughs> Tapos nasa pixel background siya. It's very nifty and it's minimalistic but still catches your eye especially if you're into that muted or subdued monolithic look. Installation is a breeze with Deep Cool's own mounting system with their brackets. For AMD systems, just place the metal plates on the existing backplate then mount the heat sink via a screw. I prefer this method, similar to Noctua SecuForm system where you secure the heatsink with screws rather than clips. It provides more even distribution of your thermal paste and generally provides an even pressure throughout the IHS and the cold plate. Compatibility-wise, we did run into a small problem with clearance for the RAM but the fan clipping mechanism was so easy to adjust and we had it on in no time. It has 160mm of case clearance as a requirement, so it's a bit tall, but not as humongous as some of the air coolers we've seen. Now for the most important review point, yung thermal performance of course. We tested this with my personal rig which is a 3600XT, overclocked to 4.4GHz at 1.4V. B550M yung motherboard, a 3070Ti and 3 case fans rated at around 2000RPM. We use the default fan curves for this test. We stress tested the CPU using multiple passes of TimeSpy and monitored the temps using HW Monitor. We also ran this head to head against the stock AMD cooler, an ID cooling Zoom Flow AIO, and a Deepcool 240EX Castle AIO, just to see how it stacks up. Ambient temp is around 22 degrees, and here are the results. At idle, it maintained a steady 48 degrees, which is which is okay for an overclocked 3600 XT. Medyo cool na yun. Both AIOs beat it though by around 4 degrees lower. The stock cooler wasn't that far at 50 degrees. Testing, however, is a different story. Both AIOs clocked more than 70 degrees, which is a bit on the toasty side already. The stock cooler was much worse, hovering at an almost dangerous 81 degrees. The AK620 beats them handily, maintaining a cool steady 68 degrees. That's a 13 degree improvement over the stock cooler, giving your rig excellent performance and more importantly, your CPU possible years and years of lifespan still. Napansin din na namin na tumaas yung score ng GPU, so even yung cooling ng GPU na apektohan nung air cooler na yun. In conclusion, Deepcool has for years been the working man's hero when it comes to budget but excellent components and this doesn't change with the AK620. 
It's premium quality and performance at not so premium of a cost. At around 3,500 pesos, it's hard not to recommend it even to first-time builders and to non-gaming CPUs. It looks great, it's dead silent, and it's very easy to install that even this old air cooler hater I don't know, I just really like AIOs and kung ano itsura nila. I'll admit na this is a really great product. Highly recommended. So if you like the video, consider liking and subscribing dito sa channel namin. And also for your PC needs, um, go to our website, hwsugar.ph. And also visit our physical store here in Leo Street, Makati. For your tech needs naman, go to our forum, pm.hwsugar.ph. See you next video. <laughs> and thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwa na to. De joke lang. Thank you to Liam Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.